Hello fellow wine lovers and wine connoisseurs from all over the world. This is Michele Orbolato, a sommelier at your service. Today we're gonna talk about the top five most expensive Portuguese uh, wines. We're gonna discover the Portuguese wine region, this uh, lovely country that is often overlooked. There are a lot of wines from Portugal that are famous, as you probably know, but also we will discover some less famous, uh, expensive uh, wines from this uh, country. Uh, often, uh, Portugal is, as I said, overlooked. Instead, it is full of value, full of quality, and we're going to discover a little bit more its uh, wine uh, regions and uh, wines. So let's start immediately. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go. In position number five, we have Barca Vela by Casa Ferrarina, one of the most famous table wines from Duoro uh, Estate uh, or Quintas. Uh, you can get this wine, Barca Vela, for an average price of $700 per uh, bottle, so we start uh, quite high immediately. So, Barca Vela is uh, an iconic wine for two reasons. It was, was the first wine that has been uh, released and has been pushed for super, super high quality uh, bottles only, released only in super great uh, vintages. And they started to make this wine 50 years ago, more or less, after the Second World War II. Uh, Casa Ferrarina was the first to aim to super quality wines, that's why uh, it is uh, so famous, this uh, estate. So this uh, wine comes from Duoro Valley, so behind the Porto you go up through the river uh, Duoro, it is a beautiful, a beautiful landscape where also they make uh, the grapes for the port wine, more famous probably. But this uh, wine is uh, really, really uh, iconic. As I said, it is made only in the best vintages and it, has, it is made mainly with Turiga Nacional, Turiga Franca, Tinta Roris, the classic indigenous grape from uh, Duoro uh, Valley, Duoro River. Uh, it has been released the first time in 1952 and it has a deep, intense note of dark and red fruit with a little bit of plum, a lot of spices as well. When it is young, it has lively tannins, great acidity, and it has a extremely, extremely long uh, finish. But you can leave it there for a very long uh, time. It becomes uh, more balanced with a little bit more velvety tannins. Perfect in general with the cheeses, the game, and the rich uh, dishes in, in general, of course. But let's discover more about Casa Ferrarina and this wine. Let's check their website. And here we are with uh... Casa Ferrarina uh, website uh, where uh, So Grape is the group that uh, uh, owns uh, this uh, fabulous uh, estate in uh, Duoro Valley. Here all the lines that they have. Uh, Barca Vela is their top uh, and the first uh, table uh, wine of Portugal. So well uh, known, so well rewarded. And look at here the valley of uh, Duoro, where uh, Quinta da Leda is uh, uh, the Quinta, is the estate that has uh, these uh, uh, vineyards. Let's go to see a little bit more again about the Barca Vela. Here we go. Uh, so Barca Vela is the pinnacle of quality amongst Duoro wine. Classic, intense, complex, elegant and rich. Uh, um, they are not <laughs> enough uh, adequate to describe this wine. Is it has been released only in the best vintages, as we can see, so far in 18 occasions. Here they say till 2008, but they released, I believe, for sure 2011 and a few more uh, recently. But anyway, uh, in this case, a deep uh, ruby who intense compass bouquet with a strong presence of well ripened red fruit, spices such as pepper and clove, balsamic, cedar, raisin, and tobacco box. Not also vegetal as asparagus and artichokes, uh, perfect harmony, uh, a bit of oak as well. It's palatable, full body with lively, balanced acidity, intense tannins, and notes of fresh red fruits, pepper, clove, and uh, ginger. Very, very long, as we said, and harmonious uh, finish. Uh, the winemaker is Luis Sotomayor, very famous winemaker in there. 
In position number four, there is a wine that honestly I didn't know and I discovered this uh, wine through my sources uh, when I was uh, digging uh, on the web. So this wine is called uh, Jupiter and it is uh, produced by Herdade de Rossin, that is in a big estate in Alentejo, Alentejo in south of uh, Portugal. So they made this wine, it is uh, quite iconic and it is uh, also said, it is called Jupiter because they say that this wine comes from another uh, world. And uh, we're gonna see uh, in a bit uh, uh, how they present uh, this uh, wine and the iconic uh, uh, presentation they made. But basically, it is uh, aged in a quite a different way. It is aged for 48 uh, months in Amphora. They are quite uh, keen to Amphora. They produce many different uh, wines and one year in uh, bottle pre or release. They produce only 800 bottles and they sell it only upon request, of course, for some uh, smaller location for some uh, wine connoisseur and wine buyers that they know personally only, and uh, it costs 1,000 euros. Therefore, if we convert it in uh, dollars, it's around 1,200 dollars, I believe, per bottle. Okay, and so they say that uh, I'm gonna read the true because I haven't seen too many articles because it's quite rare and difficult to to find it. It's been released not too many years ago, made with Trincadeira, Tinta Grossa and Alicante Boucher that are the main grapes that come from Alentejo. They say great complexity with strong minerality, I believe there is a little bit of graphite and vegetable notes, long finish, nice acidity and a good uh, balance accordingly to what uh, they mention firm tannins and uh, rounded tannins as well. So I believe also that this wine can age and stay um, a very, very long time. But let's check immediately what is behind Erdade de Rochin and uh, the Jupiter uh, wine. We're gonna see also the launch of this uh, fabulous wine, the presentation to the public. Let's go. And uh, here we are with Erdade de Rosim. This uh, big, uh, I would say, um, estate in Alenteio. Uh, they have wines a little bit all over the Portugal. But let's start here with seeing the beautiful uh, estate that is partially under uh, a hill. A beautiful art as well. A nice reception. A beautiful hill. Uh, they have a terrace, they have a reception, they have a kind of restaurant, I believe, as well. And so, uh, and then here is the amphora that they use to make uh, the Jupiter as well, uh, some of the uh, wines, so the kind of main uh, fingerprint for their premium uh, wines. I want to show you now a nice video uh, that uh, is. Uh, uh, about the, the presentation of this uh, wine. And here we are with the uh, main uh, uh, day where when they launched the, the wine, they presented the wine. So they wanted to show off a bit, I'd say, um, but beautiful venue. This is one of the famous restaurants in Portugal, I believe and uh, um, so nice nice packaging as we can see Madeira wines in here and Rossi they produce sparkling they, they showcase all their portfolio as well uh, I believe important uh, persons uh, in this uh, venue and uh, paired with some exceptional uh, food uh, probably they did a wine flight where they presented also the, the Jupiter um, nice, nice food, um, explanation, presentation, tasting of the wine uh, with uh, a lot of uh, glamour around it and um, so that was uh, uh, an important thing I wanted to show you. So if you are enjoying this uh, video and my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. This will help me a lot in making more uh, videos and also support me a lot. Uh, it's uh, always a great pleasure uh, getting a subscriber from you. Also, if you like the video, smash the like button. This will help me with the YouTube algorithm. What is this channel about? This channel is about you. We are going to discover the best wine 
wine gems of the world, the best hidden wine gems of the world. I enjoy to make this video and you have all the best recommendation from a professionist sommelier. So if this is the channel you are looking for, subscribe and smash the like button. Thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. And so now let's go to position number three. So we have seen that in position four and five, we have some bold and rich uh, uh, red uh, wines, uh, uh, but now we are starting to make, uh, of course, uh, to see also uh, fortified wines, the, the wines that uh, uh, Portugal is uh, famous uh, for. So in position number three, we have a Taylor Flatgate Limited Edition 1896, that is the vintages, single harvest towny port. And you can get this wine for an average price of $3,400. That's crazy. So it's a very rare towny port, also called Coheta Towny Port, produced only from one uh, estate, Quinta, uh, and from a single vintage, 1896. It has aged for 125 years. Yes, you heard me right. So uh, it has been aged in a cask, of course. We will see later also how it, they made. It is a nice uh, video about. And it is allocated and sold only by strict allocation. It has been put in this uh, fancy bottle that is like a decanter because these kind of wines, when they become very old, they have a lot of uh, sediment. Mogulony core, a little bit very, very dark with depth, astonishing depth and density. Uh, black coffee, liquids, uh, tobacco nuances, plus uh, cedar, wood, uh, uh, rose petal, dry rose petal, I would say, uh, black pepper and vanilla. These are some, just some of the layers within this uh, wine. Mellow palate, of course, and very, very dense. This is perfect, I would say, by itself. And uh, here we are with the Taylor uh, Towny Single Vintage Port uh, 1896 uh, Single Harvest Port, Towny Port, so very rare to find, it's also called Colheita Towny Port. A beautiful bottle, as we have seen, it's a decanter basically made only for this uh, wine. Uh, beautiful packaging, there is also a kind of little book inside that explains the vintage, the flavoring notes. It's a kind of wine for kings and let's discover a little bit more. A 125 year journey in time has been aged for 125 years. It's unbelievable. But I want to show you now the video. Beautiful from harvest of 1896. Here we see the cask. Here. We see the cask, uh, people walking around, and has been, uh, um, of course, part of the regular racking, providing the opportunity to monitor the evolution of the port. Amazing images, uh, people tasting, racking, uh, it gets through oxidation, and in the end, uh, only two casks uh, were left. Um, of these 125 years port remain so far and they created a bottle like a decanter specifically for this uh, towny port a uh, single harvest beautiful I would say and uh, I really hope to have the chance to try this beautiful single harvest towny port because it should be something astonishing I believe but let's discover a little bit more here and uh, it says the launch of a wine as old, valuable and unique it took occur only a handful of time in a generation it is by nature historic event in its own right and restricted to a very small circle of rare wine collectors and connoisseurs indeed uh, the bottle each decanter designed and produced exclusively for Taylor's 1896 singles address was individually hand blown and finished by skilled crafter making it unique. I believe so. <laughs> and as we have seen in Magnin Core, um, a lot of flavoring notes that we discussed uh, already. I would say beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And uh, the year 1896, uh, 
Uh, it was the year that uh, the Queen Victoria became the longest uh, reigning monarch in British uh, history and I believe uh, there was a great connection at that time between uh, Portugal and uh, Britain as there is uh, till now as well. And in position number two, we couldn't not have a Madeira wine, a wine from this uh, fantastic island in the middle of the Atlantic. Beautiful island, I love Madeira wines because they are made in a very, very unique way. They are heated. And if you are curious to know a little bit more about Madeira wines, I made a beautiful video that can explain to you a little bit better and deeper how they make Madeira wine. And here you can see the video I made. And in the description below, I put the link. So do not miss it out. So let's go back to position number two. We have H.M. Borges Terrantes Vintage Madeira and you can get this wine for an average price of $3,800. Terrantes it's a very very rare white grape that they don't use anymore. That's why it became very expensive so basically. It has over 100 years, they don't declare exactly uh, the vintage and it has these oxidative notes, these baked notes, of course, as all the Madeiras, but very, very long, very, very dense, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love personally Madeira, it's probably one of my best and fortified uh, wines. And uh, <clears throat> so let's go to see a little bit more behind these HM borges, where they are, how is the island, how are the vineyards, and how is the bottle. Let's go. And here we are with HM Borges, a beautiful estate in Madeira, founded in 1877. A beautiful uh, website, I have to say. Uh, now here they show a little bit the vines they have, but. We are going to discover a little bit more. Uh, company history was founded in 1877 by Enrique Menezes, Menezes uh, Borges. Sorry for the pronunciation. Uh, I wanted to show you the island of Madeira where it is located, where they have the vineyards in only some position of the, the island. It is a quite uh, wide, but it's a, such a beautiful uh, landscape. Um, now they cultivate more Serchar, Boal, Malvasia and the beautiful view of uh, Santa Cruz, the capital of the island here. A nice water of course as you can see, even if it is quite wide as you can see uh, the island uh, but there are beautiful rainfalls in here and uh, beautiful, very green also and wild. Uh, look at here the mountains, they go very very high. Uh, look, beautiful, beautiful uh, rivers, uh, um, streams, I'd say, and uh, this is a kind of classic tourist. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to call it, honestly, uh, but beautiful, beautiful, very interesting. And who is in position number one? In position number one, we have another port by Graham's, W A J Graham's port, Ne Ubli port. Please, pardon my. Uh, pronunciation. You can get this wine for an average price of six thousand nine hundred dollars. That that's correct. Yes, guys. So it's a town port as well, aging cask for more than one hundred years, as we have seen the Taylor uh, Flatgate. So similar, I would say, but uh, even more uh, red because they produce even less uh, bottles. So here is a common factor: less bottle you produce, rarest become, therefore higher in price. Uh, you, you, you sell it, that is a common uh, factor. So beautiful, even here we have a lot of uh, this uh, coffee, mellow taste, very dense, very dark in color, beautiful by itself, uh, I say. Uh, I wouldn't go with anything else, but if you have to go, go with some uh, cheeses, I would say. But I would say that it's perfect by itself or with some uh, chocolate, maybe dark chocolate, bitter dark chocolate on the side if you want to try. It's a, it's a kind of wine, these are kind of wines that they, they must be uh, enjoyed slowly, okay? Imagine that you have this uh, these wine that has already went through a lot of years, so it doesn't expire, so you can really drink it and appreciate it over time. But let's go to see what is behind this uh, 
uh, beautiful estate and this uh, beautiful uh, wine. We are with Graham's uh, port uh, established in the 1820 uh, till uh, the present day they are still uh, uh, there and it belongs uh, to uh, a big group as well now the Simington cuisine there's the same family that founded the uh, grammars but they, they became uh, quite uh, bring uh, the big of the years I'm sorry and but let's check a little bit uh, about uh, these uh, fabulous estate they have different uh, quintas quintas is a state in the Duoro river look at this beautiful uh, landscape look at this beautiful uh, river i uh, really want to go to visit there there is a beautiful train that goes through this uh, river to they start from porto um, amazing landscape uh, uh, quite uh, difficult i would say also to cultivate in these uh, terraces and make these terraces um, very very uh, nice, you see a lot of dry walls to make these uh, vines, single rows uh, in there uh, because it, was, it is quite uh, steep, I'd say. And um, let's go to check a little bit Ne Uble Wood. Ne Uble Wood, the Simiton family has released only 656 uh, bottles of this uh, port. That is uh, fantastic. The family um, named this wine Ne Obli after the original grain family motto of the company where Andrew Simmons started his life as work. Um, grandparents. Now, 130 years later, uh, they have decided to bottle the three remaining uh, barrels and they create this extraordinary individual number handmade crystal decanter specifically designed we're gonna check it out in a, a moment uh, here we go so look this one is a beautiful box uh, this is a, also a key and uh, UA Jane Grammar Sport Neubli number six this is the bottle number six beautiful packaging i'd say beautiful bottle decanter because there is a bit of sediment uh, in this kind of uh, port and uh, that that's amazing that is another wine that uh, you need to drink here and taste it by itself i would say with nothing else uh, in a nice uh, glass uh, and um, so far and that is the most expensive wine of uh, uh, Portugal. And so we have seen five different beautiful wines from Portugal and if you are interested to discover more of the best wines of the world please check in the description below all the video check my channel where you can see the best and most expensive wines from Italy, from California, from France, from Australia, from Spain, the neighbor of uh, uh, these fabulous uh, wines so please 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 check in the description below check my channel so you can get a better understanding and now the question of the day which is your favorite wine of these uh, five have you tried any of them maybe you have tried the, 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 the red one I hope for you and um, I did try the Barca Vela but not all these super expensive and very rare uh, port oil and uh, Madeira so I really hope I will have the chance in the future to try and to visit also these uh, wine regions that are uh, wonderful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If that is the case, consider subscribe to the channel and smash the like button. This will help me with the YouTube algorithm. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao.